Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, my dear class. How are you? Very good. I am very good. Excellent. I am very happy to see you. Con nuevo look igual que la teacher. <laughs> no, este es mi look normal. Lo que pasa es que mucho calor hace. Ella este... se me corta del pelo. Mire qué lindo su cabello. Me gusta un montón. <laughs> Thank you. Es que mire, es que yo siento que a veces sí, como que ya es necesario así como, ah, no, mucho calor, mucho trabajo estárselo peinando. <laughs> Ay, sí, yo pelona me lo quería quitar, pero mi amiga no me lo quiso cortar. No, 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 así no. <risa> porque después uno ahí anda, no, ¿por qué? A, mí me, a mí me pasó que cuando, cuando yo iba a tener a mi hijo, mi pelo me llegaba hasta la cintura, así súper largo. Y entonces dije yo, bueno, eh, cuando no es que lo, a, lo vamos a donar. Y yo dije, lo voy a donar y va, chido. Cuando ya llegué y que ya pues estaban los que lo iban a recibir y todo, y bueno, la muchacha me dice, bueno, hasta aquí, ya. Y ya, me metió la tijera. Hasta aquí. Y yo el pegue. Ay. <risa> <risa> Pero era por una buena causa, entonces volví a crecer. Y ya, ya en el momento te dijo, ya me lo pensé mejor. Vuelvo, ya, vuelvo, vuelvo a verlo ponerle. <risa> y ya no se podía. Bueno. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your one of your final classes, but I am sure that it's not going to be the last one because we are going to work uh, a little bit on the topics of the day. We are going to check everything that the platform is complete and we are going to work a little bit on the presentation for tomorrow. It is a very simple thing. You don't have to worry about that, okay? Eso sí, no se tienen que afligir por eso porque no es ni complicado. Así que, don't worry about that presentation. Thank you to the ones who answer my message about the platform. Thank you very much because eh, we needed to finish, right? Habían algunos que todavía les quedaban uno que otro ejercicio pendiente que no teníamos el 100%, pero eh, ya, la mayoría de ustedes ya está completo. Okay. Okay, tenemos todavía, ahí teníamos unos cuantos que todavía le faltaban uno que otro ejercicio para tener el 100%, pero ustedes la gran mayoría ya habían finalizado. Así que, Igual les va a llegar a su correo la información para la encuesta de satisfacción que vamos a realizar mañana. No sé si ya la tienen. A mí ya me cayó. Bye. Eso lo vamos a ocupar mañana en clase. No lo vamos a hacer ahorita. Lo vamos a ocupar hasta mañana en la clase porque lo vamos a hacer juntos. Yo les doy ciertos códigos, ciertos números que tienen que ir poniendo. Y pues obviamente ya la calificación la ponen ustedes. Y ahí hay un espacio para, para comentarios, para... Todo lo que ustedes quieran este, expresar también ahí. A teacher, mucha tarea me deja. Y este, eh, vamos a hacer la, la evaluación juntos. También la hacemos junto con una persona de inglés corporativo para que eso se pueda completar. Eso lo hacen cada módulo. ¿Por qué? Porque obviamente en el reporte de información de evaluación va esa encuesta. Así que si ya les llegó a su correo, Tengan la lista el día de mañana. Mañana la vamos a utilizar en nuestra última clase, ¿ok? Así que revisen su correo por ahí, si está en spam, si nos han puesto en no deseado, si nos han puesto ahí este, silenciar hasta que venga el Señor. Sáquenme de, de lo silenciado. Sáquenme del limbo, creí que iba a decir. Sáquenme del limbo también, sáquenme del limbo, ¿verdad? No, ya este, eso lo vamos a utilizar el día de mañana. Igual el día de mañana vamos a trabajar un poquito con lo, con, 
Vamos a trabajar un poquito con eh, las presentaciones finales, que son bastante sencillas, no es nada de qué preocuparse, ya se la pueden mostrar qué es lo que vamos a estar haciendo. Eh, y pues, eh, that's it. Okay. Right now, I am going to open the platform. Thank you for the ones who answered. Okay. Gracias a los que me contestaron en el momentito. Que, eh, de los ejercicios que les estaba pidiendo, creo que solo hay como uno o dos de ustedes que les faltan unas cositas, pero pequeñitas. O que quizás dejaron un ejercicio sin completar y eso es lo que les sale ahí que, que está a medias. Okay. Pero ya está casi todo terminado. So, my dear students, let me open my things, my, okay, my screen to share with you, and we will start. Okay, I will open it again. So, how was your day? Tell me a little bit about it. How was your day? What did you do? Did you go to work? Did it rain? No sé, se mojaron, llovió, no llovió, hizo mucho calor. What happened in your day? ¿Qué tal fue su día? It was good, it was so so. It was really bad, I don't know. Tell me. Tell me a little bit. Cuéntenme de su día. Only one. Let's see, Mr. Ronald, how was your day? How was your day? Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. It how was hard. It was hot. It was hard and hot. <laughs> yes. Today was an especially hot day. Definitely. <laughs> It was horrible, horrible, horribly hot. Let's see, yeah. uh, Mr. Oh, Luis. <laughs> it was hard as always, you say. Mr. Luis Parrilla, how was oh, your boy. day? Hello, um, my day is... My day, uh-huh. Mm. How was your day? Um, un, un poco de trabajo, más o menos. Okay. A, li a little bit of work, right? A little bit tiring. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty good. Well, at least it was it was a good day. Let's see, a lady, Brendita Garcia, how was your day? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I like that. I like that part. Hmm. I... Is they are uh, warm too much, 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 or much of work? But it it was busy. You say it was busy. It was a lot of work. In that case, you can say I had a lot of work. I had a lot of work. Tuve mucho trabajo. I had a lot of work. Let me see, Odalis. How was your day? How was your Hello. day? Hello, Dalis. It was con mucho trabajo. <laughs> it was busy, you say. It was busy. I busy. I was busy. Ahí todavía quedo allá, es poco de trabajo. Ese es que se quede allá, ese ni modo. No, ese es que ni se preocupe, ese es que se quede por allá. That's good. Well, Selena, how was your day? Hello, teacher. Hello. I am fantastic. Hey, you're fantastic. Nice. <laughs> That's good. It was a good day. Let's see. Griselda, how was your day? It was busy. It was busy. It was busy. Oh. Okay. Brendita Martinez, how are you? 
Muy, 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 muy pesado. It was hard, you say. It was hard. So, today we had, we had like a couple of uh, vocabulary here that I can take and I can complement with my first question. Yo siempre les hago la primera pregunta para agarrar de ahí el tema del día. Porque sé que todo va conectado. You were telling me, how was your day was my question. And you had to describe it, right? Y vamos a describirlo como era. And you told me, it was hard, right? You told me, it was busy. It was hot. See? It was relaxed. It was relaxed, you say. It was a fantastic, said Selena. It was fantastic. All these words that you were using to express how your day was are called adjectives. These are called adjectives. And you use them to describe things, right? Adjectives. You use adjectives to describe things, situations, places. You use them to describe people, right? And we use them to express how something looks, right? Como algo es, como algo se ve. También nos sirven para eso los adjetivos. Or to describe a situation. You say like, for example, how was your day? It was stressful. It was like, oh no, no right? It wasn't a stressful day. Well, my day was really stressful today. And I said, I know, I said, I, I, I'm tired of this, right? Stressful. My day was, uh, any other type of definition that you can give to your name, even if it is in Spanish and I can translate it? ¿Cómo definirían su día para ayudarles a crear esta lista de adjetivos? Uh -huh. I have here hard, busy, hot, relaxed, fantastic, stressful. Agotador. Tiring. It was tiring. It was like, I don't know. Right? It was tiring. It was confusing, you say, like that you don't know what to do. It was like, ah. Huh? If you want. If you want to describe a situation, right, you can use words like this. You can use exactly like the ones that I am showing you. If you want to describe a place, I can say, I can use other types of adjectives. For example, the place where you work, how is it? Is it big or small? ¿Cómo es el lugar donde ustedes trabajan? Is it big or small? It's big. Big. it's big very big it's big right i am going to go to the intensifiers a little bit later right it's big is it colorful is it colorful así como bien brillante colorido bonito no no no, no. <laughs> it is purple okay well so it's nice is it quiet or is it noisy is it quiet or noisy? Noisy. It's noisy, okay. Noisy. Is it full or empty? Is it full? Full, lleno de gente or empty? So in that case, it is, it is crowded. Crowded. Es como muy lleno de gente que todos estamos muy bien cerquita o solo es, está como abundante de gente. Crowded. It's cr crowded. It's like, oh my God. <laughs> Tienes que amar al prójimo ahí, mucho. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Son los prójimos que no se dejan. Why are you wrong? Así, así. Esa es la prueba de Dios para nuestra vida. <laughs> It's, you have to love no colaboran. Yeah, it's like, yo soy un ser de luz, pero a veces electrocuto, le digo. <laughs> Así le digo yo, a veces le digo a mi secretaria, yo soy un ser de luz, pero a veces electrocuto. <laughs> Buraquil. 
Yeah, exactly like that. No, I, I am very happy. I am very happy. So that is another adjective, right? I am happy. I am not sad. I am not angry, right? I am not uh, complicated. I am not complicated. I'm not complicated. I am easy going. Easy going is like, así como relajada, buena onda, llevadera, right? That's easy going. Relaja. Relaja también, right? I'm very fun. I'm very funny, right? I am very sociable, right? Those are other adjectives that you can use. All these examples that I am giving you are adjectives. How do you, okay, let's continue describing places. Is the place where you work large? Dark, sorry, or lighted? Is it dark or lighted? Lighted. Lighted, right? It's a very clear place. Is it clean? Clean or dirty? Is it clean or dirty? Dirty. Dirty? Mucho hill. <laughs> ah, so yeah, so it, it is because of the work that you do, right? But it's not, it is not that the place is dirty. Okay, let me see another adjective that you can use. Is it, um, let me see, I am going to use another one. Is the food around cheap? or expensive? The food around the place where you work, is it cheap or expensive? Expensive. Expensive, okay. Is it, uh, okay, everything is expensive. What is the cheapest thing that you can buy? ¿Qué es lo más barato que podemos comprar ahí cerca de su trabajo? Un tenedor. <laughs> no, que lo más barato que podemos comprar de comida cerca de su trabajo, un tenedor. Ah, cerca. Oh. Un, churro. un churro. Snacks, right? You can buy snacks. And are the snacks delicious? Or, Low quality. Or horrible? Are the snacks delicious or horrible? Oh, so, so. So, so. <laughs> so those are <laughs> oh my god so that is that is one let me see another one is the place new or old old it's an old place right in this case you can say that it's ancient. Ancient, it is not ancient, right? But the adjective ancient is when it has like thousands of years of existence. For example, like Joya de Seren or what is the other one? Uh, ah, what? Yeah, Delta Sumal or something like that. Those are <laughs> ancient things, right? Those are ancient places. Okay. Did you investigate more examples on adjectives? ¿Tuvieron el chance de investigar más ejemplos de los adjetivos? Dangerous. Dangerous, right? You have dangerous. And what is the opposite of dangerous? Safe, right? The opposite of dangerous safe. is safe. Any other adjective that you had the chance to investigate? I have beautiful. What is the opposite of beautiful? Ugly. <laughs> ugly, right? The opposite of beautiful, ugly. it's ugly. Ugly. What is the, uh, okay, and you can also say that something is not beautiful, but it is pretty. Pretty. Correct. And if you are talking about a man, you can Here. say that it is handsome. Okay, those are other adjectives that we can use. What else? Cute. Cute, right? It's a cute. 
Good. What else? What is the opposite of hot? Cold. Cold, right? And similar to cold, we also have cool. Cool is fresco, right? Fresco, like nice, right? Hey, it's good. Cold is like uh, helado, sumamente helado. But cool is like uh, nice, right? Fresco, <laughs> bonito, right? Any other example? Friendly. We, friendly, right? Friendly. And what is the opposite of friendly? I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Okay. I'm friendly. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Yo no pasé mecanografías. <laughs> I'm friendly. We have, okay, the place where you live, is it far from your house or it is close to your house? Is it far from your house or close to your house? Close. Close, right? Close. Sí. Far is lejos. In El Salvador, we say that lejos. That is in lejos. Very far. Okay. And let me see. Is your uh, manager generous or angry? I think I have angry already. Okay. I have generous. Is your manager generous? Generous. Generous. So, so. So, so, you say. Okay, you can <laughs> say that he's good. He's good. Good. Bad. And evil. What is the meaning of evil? It's like, ojalá que se te vaya la tijera de lado. That's evil, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, right? Good, bad, right? Or evil. Let me see. Is your job hard? Is your job hard? Is difficult, pesado? Hard or heavy? Is your job hot, hard or heavy? Hard. Hard. Okay. We have another one that it's messy. In this case, this is the definition of the workplace. Que de repente eh, Ronald nos decía que estaba dirty porque habían muchos hilos tirados. Pero en realidad no está dirty porque esté sucio, sino que está Messi. Y no Messi el jugador, sino que Messi de, está como desordenado porque hay cosas tiradas y así. Pero por la cuestión del trabajo que se realiza, ¿verdad? Right? It's Messi. Let's see. We have another one that it's quick, right? That's another adjective. And let me see. Simple is another adjective. And sweet. we can say sweet, right? Sweet. Strong is another adjective. Tired. Tired is the feeling that you can have. Tiding, como les ponía aquí al principio, tiding es agotador. Pero usted puede decir, I'm tired. Estoy cansado. Tired. I am tired. You can say, I am excited. Excited means that you are happy and you want to do the things and you want to be very active, right? But in some cases, you are just tired. And you are like, I I don't want to do anything. And other days, you are like, yeah, yeah, and this and that, and you're very excited. Right? So, <laughs> so, and for sure, we have another one that it's a weak is the opposite of a strong, right? weak and a strong. If you talk about places in the city, what type of adjectives do you consider that you can use? Si hablamos de lugares en la ciudad, ¿qué adjetivos podríamos usar? For example, to describe a pizza restaurant. Mm. Uh -huh. How would you describe a pizza restaurant? The best. Uh -huh. It's the best. In that case, the best 
It's yeah, you can use it, but in that case, you say it's good. It's, it's good. Clean. It's clean. What else? It's, it's delicious. It's delicious, right? It's delicious. What else? It's so strong. It's so strong. <laughs> Is it expensive? A pizza restaurant? No. No, right? It's cheap. It's affordable. Here. <laughs> affordable. Affordable means that uh, you can pay for it, right? Es como alcanzable. Se puede pagar. You can also have comfortable. Comfortable, it means that it is it's a good place. You can feel comfortable there. So it's cozy. What is the meaning of cozy? Que es como estar en tu casa, sentirte como en casa. Es acogedor, right? Cozy. What is another adjective that you will use? Imagine that you want to describe a, a cocoa beach. How would you describe El Tunkovich? Uh-huh. It's dangerous. Dang Is it dangerous? Really? <laughs> no. Mucha piedra. <laughs> well, the, in that case, yes, right? Me han contado que así se cae la gente cuando se toma. It's charming. I love the beach. I mean, the beach is one of my favorite places, right? So it's a charming place. It's encantador. It's amazing. Amazing. It's amazing. It is perfect. It is the most. It is famous, right? Famous. 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 Famos. Famoso. Yes. Okay. It is, uh, let's see, popular. It's popular because many people want to go there, right? It's a popular place. It's popular. It's touristic. It's touristic. Touristic. It's magical. <laughs> I love I, I think El Salvador in many of the forms it's a really magical place I mean when you go to the mountains and you see the, the view of the country I think it's a beautiful thing right subir la montaña es un dolor de cabeza but when you are there it's beautiful right the view is fantastic it's marvelous <laughs> marvelous if someone tells me hey how is el salvador and it happened to me cuando andaba de viaje en arkansas me decían y cómo es el salvador y yo les decía it's beautiful it's magical it's pretty it's it's amazing right it's an amazing country it's very colorful it's a small but beautiful right mm. it is a yeah. charming place Let's see. I think we have a, most of the of the adjectives that we can use, right? And now I am going to explain you a little bit how you use the adjectives. If you have to describe yourself, si tendrían que describirse ustedes como persona, how would you describe yourself? You say like I am, and then you use an adjective. I am. I am Friendly. Uh -huh. I am Friend. what? Let's describe people in the class. If you need to describe Roxana, ¿qué adjetivos le dirían a Roxana? Veamos. Mm, angry. <laughs> Roxana. So, could he <laughs> hey, No, she's not angry. Are you angry? Roxy, are you angry? Que no miente, dígale. A little bit, right? Mañana cuando te vea en el pasillo, niña. Que no sabe quién soy. 
seguridad. <laughs> Okay, mañana, if, you, if you have to describe uh, Carolina, what adjectives would you give to Carolina? Say that them now. Uh -huh. ¿Qué adjetivo le diéramos a Carolina? Uh, she is ugly. She is ugly. <laughs> okay, pero pongamos. She is what for the Para decir ágil. Ah. Ágil. Ágil. She's ágil. Yo digo ugly yo. No, she's very beautiful. I said no, not at all. Ágil, right? She's ágil. Exactly the same as in Spanish, but you add an E at the end, right? If you have to describe Evelyn, what adjective would you give to Evelyn? Happy. She's happy, right? She's happy. What about Brenda Garcia? What adjective would you give to Brenda? En Brenda. Ajá. Uh -huh. Adjectives for Brenda Garcia. Uh -huh. Only one people. I would say that she is uh, easygoing, she's sociable, she is beautiful. She is fantastic. Friendly. Friendly, very good. What else? Funny. Funny, very good. She's funny and friendly. What about Norma? What adjective would you give to Norma? What adjective would you give to Norma? Norma is beautiful, right? She is serious. She's serious, right? Not like the teacher, right? That she's talking and talking all the time. She's serious. What adjective would you give to Luis Parrilla? And Luis. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Dangerous, why? <clears throat> All the ladies have to be afraid of him. Tienen que cuidar todas las chicas de Luis. Dangerous. He's... No, he's a nice person. Easy going. Easy going, right? He's easy going. What about Edwin? What adjectives would you give to Edwin? <laughs> Uh -huh. He's friendly. Friendly. Good. Dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> uh -huh. and, and what adjectives would you give to Ronald? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dangerous. <laughs> Dangerous. What adjectives would you give to Ronald? Uh -huh. No, está ahí. Hasta ahí, they say. <laughs> no, he's a good friend. I think you are you are sociable and friendly, yeah. right? Sociable and friendly. What he's about so cute. and cute and handsome and, and good looking <laughs> and everything? Ah, you see, and, and the boys like posing, right? What adjectives would you give to Selena? Uh -huh, she's she's posing there, you see. She's beautiful. Cool. She's beautiful, right? She's cool. She's yes, fun. She's popular. Popular. Sí, mira, <laughs> okay. She's popular. This. <laughs> no. So timid. <laughs> ah, yeah. Shy. That is shy. Let me write it for you. Sí, es el que me caracteriza a mí. Shy. I am shy. Yeah, believe me. Me too, me too, teacher. Yeah. Sa, 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 sa. Para decirle que mi papá me tenía que dar el diario cuando salíamos en el bus para que no me fuera platicando con el motorista. <risa> con eso les digo todo. que a mi papá le gustaba irse en el primer asiento del bus pero yo iba a teque, te, teque con el motorista y mi papá Natalie, deja de ir distrayendo al señor toma el diario Messi y ahí es donde nace mi pasión por leer me gusta un montón leer 
Ya yo de cuatro o cinco años yo era chambreando con el motorista. Pero I am very shy. So I am very shy. So eh, adjectives to describe Astrid Argueta. She is. Sociable, serious, talkative. Oh, I have another one. Talkative. That's yeah. one. Beautiful. She's... Okay, she's beautiful. Good. I have one that I think that's my that's my my adjective. Talkative. Talkative is that you like to talk a lot, right? That you like to talk all the time. Okay? Talkative. What about? Let me see. Who am I missing? Uh, uh, Odalis? What are the adjectives for Odalis? Uh -huh. ¿Qué adjetivo le pondrían a Odalis? A ver. Uh, Sociable. Good. ¿En tu Isabel, Rocío? Uh -huh. Generous, okay. And we have here tall and short. The These ones are to describe how a person looks, right? Tall, it's a really high person. And short, it's bajito. No decimos small para las personas. No me van a decir, ah, ella es small teacher. No, it's short. Are you tall or short? ¿Quiénes de aquí son altos? A ver. Who is tall? I Define think Griselda, Griselda is tall. Well, for Salvadorian people, more than 1.70. Um, I am sure. I am sure. Yes. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> really? No, it's not possible. Yeah. I am 1.75. <laughs> I am a very tall woman. <laughs> Sí, ah, pues no, yo ya vi que ya me pasé el promedio. Yo mido 1.75 de alto. A lo mucho llegamos a los unos acá. <ríe> a ver, eh, Carolina. I think Carolina is short. Are you short? 1.63 mido. Ok, so for, for a lady, it's like between the media. Luis, how tall are you? 1.76. Yeah, so he's taller than me. Oh my god, nice! <laughs> I like that. Very good. What about Isabel? Are you tall? Uno sesenta. So she's in the media of Salvadorian women. Griselda, how tall are you? Uno cincuenta y Really? And I thought you were very tall. Yo me imaginaba Griselda sitting alto. Brenda, how tall are you? Brenda Garcia. Me too, 1.57. <laughs> oh my God, you're huggable for me. <laughs> Selena, how tall are you? 1.60, sesenta, creo. <laughs> so that is that is the media that is the media of Salvadorian women. Did you know? Esa es como la media de las mujeres salvadoreñas. Y aún si mide más de 1.60, es como super alto para el salvadoreño promedio. For the boys, the media is 165, 170. That's the media for Salvadorian men. So I am going to send you a picture of the adjectives if you didn't copy them, por si no los copiaron. Let me just send you a picture of them. And here I go. Okay, let me just picture it. And I can send it on the chat. There it is, okay? So I am going to send you the picture on WhatsApp for you to have. Um, yes. Así que me dice, no lo copié, teacher, no lo vi. No. And we are going to complete. I am going to complete first the attendance, okay? And then we move into the final talk. Vamos a completar la asistencia para poder quedarnos ya en el tema que vamos a ver ahora. Astrid Abigail. Present, very good. Here we go. 
to organize my life. Déjenme organizarme un poquito aquí la vida. And here I go. Hay de Lisania. Present. Brenda Elizabeth Cerón. Present. Brenda Elizabeth Martínez. Present. Celina Janet Arevalo. Present. Diana Carolina Meléndez. Present. Edwin Ernesto Sánchez. Present. Evelyn del Carmen García. Present. Griselda Yamilet Velázquez. Here. Isabel Rocío Vázquez. Present. José Antonio Rivera. Luis Américo Rivas. Hello. Hello, Mr. Luis. Calladito anda porque se cortó el pelo. <risa> Luis Humberto Parrilla. Present. Marta Alicia Montano. Present. Norma Yamilet. Present. Odalis Marisol. Present. Rona Lulises. Present. Roxana de Jesús. Present. And Yolanda Beatriz. No present. Okay, so as we have been studying a little bit of the adjectives, let me just move on the book for us to work on what I showed you yesterday. Ayer les empecé a mostrar un poquito de lo que mostraba el libro acerca de los adjetivos. And this is exactly what we have been doing. As you can see, in this case, we have the definition of different places and how we use the adjectives with different places. And in this case, we have positive adjectives and negative adjectives. For example, if you say that someone is ugly, do you think that's a positive adjective or a negative one? Is it positive or negative? negative. That I say like, mm, you're very ugly. And like, oh, thank you. Thank you, Cinderella, you would say. If you say that something is small, it is positive or negative. So you say, I know my office is very small. Negative. It's negative, right? If if you say that something is really nice, is it positive or negative? Positive. It's positive, right? That your office is illuminated, it's lighted. Positive or negative? Positive. It's positive, right? If you say that your office is smelly, it will be positive or negative? Negative. Negative. What is the meaning of smelly? That smells horrible, right? Stinky. Okay. Stinky, right? Stinky. It's another adjective that we can use, but smelly is kind of professional, we might say, right? It's smelly, right? And if it is smelly, for sure it's going to be disgusting, right? Comfortable, it means that it has a lot of space. And narrow, it means that everything is crowded and everything is small there, right? Narrow is estrecho, pequeñito. That's a negative form. So in this one, how can we create sentences using the adjectives? We have here, remember that yesterday we started with there is and there are, right? In the case of Jim, it is there is or there are? There is. There is, there is a small gym. gym, right? There is, an small, there is a small gym. Another form of sentence that we can use in order to talk about uh, the adjectives, we can also say, let me just change. I don't know if I can change the color of this one. Okay, I'm going to use this one. You can also say that the gym, the gym is small, small right? If you want to express a specific sentence using the adjective, right? There is a small gym. If I say, for example, ¿Y qué hay en tu colonia? ¿O qué tenés ahí cerca de tu casa? Ah, there is a small gym. There is a big restaurant. There is a beautiful bank. There is a 
uh, what a cozy park, right? You can you can describe the places that you have there. What about cafeterias? Are you going to use there is or there are for cafeterias? Mm, there are. There are. There are. There are clean Three. cafeterias. Cafeterias. What is another form to create this sentence? ¿Cómo podríamos hacer esta oración de una manera diferente? The cafeterias. The cafeterias? Are clean. The cafeterias are clean. Very good job. Okay. You can say the cafeterias are clean. The cafeterias are clean. And there you have the sentence, right? You have two different forms to create these sentences here. What about the next one? We have six sentences in total. So we need to create the other four sentences. Can you help me to create that in your notebook in the two forms, please? Lo vamos a crear en su cuaderno, en las dos maneras que les he enseñado. With there is and there are, and with the place and the adjective. Let's work on the next one. Unpleasant bathrooms, new training rooms, a smart meeting room, and tiny cubicle. Let's create the sentences in the two forms. Hagámoslas en las dos maneras. Vamos, on your notebook. I will give you two more minutes to do it. There you go. You have one minute, twenty four minutes, twenty four seconds. Seconds. 
to finish. Okay, 10 seconds and that's it. Time is over. The time is over. Let's work. Okay, let's see. What is the first form? What is the first form of a sentence for number two? What is the form of sentence for number two? There are. There are. What is yeah. the adjective? New? New. There are new rooms. Okay, and what is the other form for this definition? The training rooms are new. Uh, yeah. The training rooms are new, right? So that is the other form that you can use here. What about number four? There is. There is. Smart meeting room. There is a smart meeting room. There is a smart meeting room. ¿Qué significa cuando tenemos un smart meeting room? ¿Puede el cuarto ser inteligente? ¿A qué se refiere cuando le decimos smart meeting room? ¿A qué se refiere? A ver. Si decimos que tenemos un smart meeting room. A ver, nuestros tecnológicos. Mr. Edwin, Mr. Américo. ¿A qué se refiere si les digo que tenemos un smart meeting room? Un chat por Zoom. Encienden al entrar o, o que las cosas se aprenden, no sé, con, con, con cosas como tecnológicas, como lo dice. Exactly like that. Américo, ¿qué más le podemos agregar? Vaya, Alexa. Como las luces que hay, por ejemplo, que tienen con aplausos, se apagan con aplausos. Ok. No, I don't. <laughs> well. Ok. No, but there are, well, there are some that you can say like, eh, Alexa, apaga la luz, and it turns off. Because it works like that, right? My brother has one like that and it's really cool, right? But in a smart meeting room, it means that it's full of technology, that you have the screen, you have projectors, you have computers, you have a, a lot of technology for people to use, right? That you can have smart meetings, right? Pueden tener videoconferencias, pueden tener proyección, pueden tener este trabajo colaborativo con otros países y no necesitan hacer mucho, sino que todo ya está conectado. That is a smart meeting room. It's beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. There is a smart meeting room. What is the other form to use this sentence? The meeting room is smart. The meeting room is smart. Can we use that sentence? In this case, we cannot say the meeting room is smart because in that case, estuviéramos diciendo que el cuarto es inteligente. But we can say, we can say the things on the room, the things on the room are smart and technological. So in order to explain that sentence, technological. Okay, hi, Denomical. There you go. But I will write it like this just because Denomical in the mind. The things on the room are smart and technological. What about the cubicle? There is, there is a tiny cubicle. What is the meaning of tiny? Pequeño. Pequeñito. Right? Pero es pequeñito. That it's like very, very small, right? And in this case, you can say the cubicle, the cubicle is tiny. tiny. The cubicle is tiny. What about the next one? Here, yeah. bathrooms. 
There are. There are. Unpleasant. Unpleasant. Bad room. Bad rooms. That you say, I know, I don't like those places, right? So you say the bathrooms are unpleasant. 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 In this case, I will say, and that will be the correct form for me, the restrooms, because the bathroom is a private place in your house, right? What is the difference entre bathroom and restroom? Restroom is public. Bathroom is private. Okay, so the best answer for this one is the restrooms, okay? So that is the definition for the use of the adjectives. What about the places in your city? What about the places in your city? What things do you have around your house that you can give me one sentence with them? I can say there are many expensive restaurants near my house. There are many expensive restaurants. ¿Qué más hay por su casa? There are noisy churches near my house. Very noisy churches. What else is there near your house? ¿Qué hay ahí cerca de su casa que pudiéramos ocupar esta definición con there is and there are? There are many trees. There are many? Mm, árbol. <laughs> ah, pero árbol. Let's, let's give an adjective. There are many beautiful. Beautiful. Trees. Trees. Okay. There are many beautiful trees. Y ahí ocupamos el adjetivo y la descripción. What else? A ver, ¿quién me puede ayudar con otro? Otro ejemplo de algo que haya cerca de su casa. There are many snakes. There are many dangerous snakes. There are many dangerous snakes. My God. There are many dangerous snakes. Y ahorita, Ronald. Mira, teacher. He'll be like, nah. Okay, there are many dangerous snakes. What else? Are there uh, pupusas places? I don't know. Uh, Mexican restaurants. Cangrejos. Cangrejos. <laughs> so you can use it. There are many what? ¿Qué definición le pondría a los cangrejos? ¿Qué adjetivo? There are many. Delicious. Delicious. Me lo imagino. <laughs> Delicious <laughs> crabs. Y en serio que tengo cangrejos a la par. Oh my God. Mira, teacher. <laughs> on the screen. Okay. No, yeah. in the broma, yo lo haría el estero vivo. Oh, okay, you can chill. Que chill. Envidia. Me voy a bañar en el yuga. Sí. Con gustos. That's so nice, right? There are many delicious crabs, you say. What else do you have near your house? ¿Qué más hay ahí cerca de su casa? Luis Parrilla, a ver, cuénteme. Mm, there are... No, porque solo son tres escuelas. <laughs> ah, so you say there are. There are. Three. Big. School. Schools, right? There are three big schools. And then you have, solo son tres escuelas. Ah, qué humilde. Cosas que no uh -huh. tienen humilde. Hay solo tres escuelas hay aquí a la par de mi casa. There are three big schools. What else? Griselda, ¿qué hay cerca de tu casa? March. Uh -huh. Two beautiful parks. There are two beautiful parks, right? There are two beautiful parks. What else? Only them. There is a supermarket. There is a supermarket. Pongámosle un adjetivo. There is, there is a, a what? Big. Ah, there is a big. 
Big supermarket. Supermarket. Very good. There is a big supermarket. And there you have many examples of sentences with adjectives. Right? There you have. <laughs> you can also say, uh, there are many good neighbors. There are many good neighbors, right? Hay muchos buenos vecinos. <laughs> there are many good neighbors. I am not going to talk about your neighbors, right? I there don't are, know. There are many good neighbors. But if you want to intensify the sentences, si quieren hacer esto más intenso, más como eh, el adjetivo, lo quieren hacer un poquito más de impacto, you can say, there is a very beautiful... There is a very beautiful, um, what? There is a very beautiful butterfly. butterfly. About a place, there is a very beautiful <laughs> uh, lake, let's say, a lake. There is a very beautiful lake. Cuando decimos very, estamos intensificando el adjetivo. Porque una chica puede ser bonita. And you can say she's beautiful. But if you say she is very beautiful, She's more than beautiful. She is really beautiful. So she's extremely beautiful. She is super beautiful. So you are intensifying the adjective. And it can be also for the negative. You can say, ah, she's very ugly. She is really <laughs> ugly. She's extremely ugly. And you say like, eh, no, right? If you talk about the school, you can say, ah, there are three very small schools because it can be an intensifier as well for the negative. I have here, there are many expensive restaurants. I can say there are many very expensive restaurants that it's like they are not good and they are very expensive. So that's the way you can use the adjectives as well. So. It was a nice definition of there is and there are, adding an adjective. If I say, imagínense que yo no vivo aquí, yo no vivo en El Salvador. Y le digo, hey, what is there in El Salvador? What can I see? ¿Qué hay en El Salvador? ¿Qué puedo ir a ver? You can say there is, there are. There are beach. There are many. There are there are volcanoes. There are volcanoes. There are beaches. What else? There are many beautiful beaches. There, there are, are many. Lakes. There are rivers. Lakes. Rivers. rivers. Uh, lakes, rivers. Uh -huh. How are the lakes? Beach. How are the lakes? Big, pretty. What else? And the beaches? How are the beaches? No la beaches. Beaches. <laughs> are people beautiful they are, they are beautiful right the beaches are beautiful how are the hotels in el salvador okay expensive the sort of beach Oh, the Bahia Beach. del Sol. I like that one. I like Bahia del Sol. Yeah, yeah, people think. Let's see. How there are, are many, there are many beautiful viewpoints? There are many beautiful viewpoints. Fantastic. There are many beautiful viewpoints. Hay muchos miradores. How is the food in El Salvador, people? It's very delicious. The food is very delicious. What do you recommend? Pupusas. Pupusa. Pupusa. Maricada. <laughs> okay. Cocktails de concha. Seafood. Yeah, Seafood delicious. cocktails. Delicious. The food is delicious, you say. So food. that is the way you use it, you see? Now you can recommend your country to other people. You say, visit El Salvador. El Salvador is very beautiful. There are many yeah. beautiful women in El Salvador, right? Son brava, pero son bien lindas. Yes, of <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you say. <laughs> en vez de decir, no, teachers son un amor todas. Okay. 
Aquí me ven bien lindo y todo. No, I, I, am, I am one of the, all these ladies here are the exception of the rules. Todas mis niñas aquí del salón son la excepción de la regla. Todas son un amor. Hacen valer lo uno sesenta y cinco. Definitely. All the time. Well, we are going to have this small practice here with some people information. Here, what is the name of the employee? No, this is a What know. is the complete answer for that one? What is the name of the employee? ¿Cómo me dan la oración completa? His name is... Mm -hmm. His name is Mauricio Quintanilla. His name is Mauricio Quintanilla. Remember to give me complete answers, okay? What is his phone number? His, number his phone is number is 7203-9164. Very good. Where does Mauricio Quintanilla work? His work. He works. Technology. He works at Arrows Technology Company. What is his address? His address is. Ah, no me pueden decir he is on Roosevelt. He lives. He lives on. Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, number 853, Santa Cecilia, San Salvador. What is his job position? No, get out. So, so, this he is a He's a software designer. Uh, designer. Designer. In which department does he work? He's production. In which department does he work? So you say he works in production. Production. What is his ID? What is his ID? His ID is? Yeah, his ID, ID is is MQ108359. Good. Thank you. So we are going to go and practice with uh, the map that we had yesterday. Here you have the questions. There are four and we have to identify these four places. It is located in front of the mall on First Avenue. It is located in front of the mall on First Avenue. Let's see. It is located in front of the mall in First Avenue. It is located in front of the mall in First Avenue. What is it? Park. 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 The park, park. right? The, the park. park. The, the park. next one. Park. The park, you say. The next one says, it is located, it is located, and check on the map, it is located across First Avenue behind the restaurant. It is located across First Avenue behind the restaurant. Mm. It is located across First Avenue behind the restaurant. Arrows Company. Arrows Company. Arrows Company, right? Across First Avenue, al cruzarse la, la primera avenida, behind the restaurant, it's a Arrows Company. The next one. It says, chin, 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 here I go, here I go. It is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and Book World. Arrows Company. Arrows Company, very good. 
It is located on Roosevelt Street next to the city hall and the park. It is located on Roosevelt Street next to the city hall. What is next to the city hall? Book World. Book World. Right next to the city hall is Book World. Oh, very good. Cool. Excellent job. Let me see. We go here. We are going to work on the prepositions of place to finish. Give me one second. Okay. <clears throat> Casi morí en el intento, pero no morí. <clears throat> Let's continue. We have the different prepositions of place. Along. ¿Qué significa along? Along es por sobre toda la calle. Si usted se viene all along the Roosevelt Street, you are going to go to Salvador del Mundo. Okay. Si se vienen desde el centro, toda la Roosevelt, van a ir a parar allá, al Salvador del Mundo. Sí. Here in San Salvador, right? If you go all along the 49th Street, van a ir a parar a Metro. In San Salvador, right? Along, todo lo largo de la calle. In front of, I explained you yesterday, that is, what? In front of? Frente. Frente a, behind? Atrás de. Next to? Oh, no. Between? Entre. Entre. In the Entre. middle, right? Entre. Across? Cruzar. Deba. <laughs> cruzar. <laughs> it's under. Under. cruzar, right? Past is past. Pasa. Okay, imagine, right, that if you are going to, uh, if you are going to Galerías in mm. San Salvador, you have to pass Salvador del Mundo and continue all along Paseo Escalón and you're going to get to galerías. Under, under is? Bajo. Bajo o abajo de. The sports palace is, and then you have, here you can use any preposition, but we're going to go to the map. Let me see if we have it here. The sports palace. The sports palace. What preposition will you use for the sports palace? Next to. You can say it's next to what? School. Uh -huh. school. Si tenemos que cruzar una calle, sería across, across from, from across from the school. It is between what? The bank school. The bank, the bank, school. The bank and the school, right? It is between the bank and the school. Very good. Let me see. What about the church? What uh, description will you give to the church? Okay, the church next. is in front of the park. Next to next to city city hall. hall. Be Next. Between the school and city hall. Okay, the church is between the school and the city hall. Very good. What about the city hall? The city hall is between what? The between church. Between the church. Between the church and book world. Okay. What about Arrow's company? It's across from. It's the across, park. From the park. across from the park. Good. The restaurant. Where is the restaurant? It's on the, on the corner, right? The corner. The corner. It's on the corner of what? Roosevelt Street and Fifth Avenue. Corner of park. On the corner of First Avenue and Roosevelt Street. Recuerden que cuando decimos on the corner of, ocupamos las dos calles, right? Mm. The restaurant is on the corner of First Avenue and Roosevelt Street. Okay, let me see. 
Um, the bank. Where is the bank? On the corner. It's on the corner, it's on the corner of. First Avenue. First Avenue. And Barrios Avenue. And Barrios Street. What about the mall? Where is the mall? Mall, mall is from. From uh, across park. from, from park. the park. Across, across from, from the park. park. On mm -hmm. which street? In qué calle está? On. On First Avenue. On First, first Avenue, avenue on right? First it's avenue. across from the park on First Avenue. Very good job. What about? Let me see. I think we mentioned all the different places. Ah, the Sports Palace is the only one that we are missing. Where is the Sports Palace? Sports Palace is from the park. Is in front of the park? Or? Between the bank and school. Between the bank and the school, right? It's across from the park between the bank and the school. Very good job. So that is the way we do it, right? That is the way we use it. The different prepositions of place. And let me go back here. Yeah, it's the review. Me gustó. Estuvo muy buena. And let me just finish here with the final exercise that I have for the book before we move into the presentation for tomorrow. The prepositions of place and okay, we did the, this one. This is Hello, Julio Cesar Fabian Celaya. Hello, Julio Cesar. I don't know who you are. Han aparecido unos dos ahí que saben quiénes son. <laughs> William Roque. Hola, William. Creo que se me confundieron de link. Ana Andrea Urbina también. Sí, hay alguno. Hay, perdón que me ingresé también. Es que hay algo. Nos mandaron el link de, de módulo 1. Uh. Ok, okay. Pues, pues yo por mí feliz que se queden aquí, pero eh, creo que se tendrían que comunicar con, su, con el moderador de su grupo para que les envíen el link correcto. Sí, sí, gracias. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a beautiful day. William Roque uh -huh. is the same, and I think I have another lady. Susana Andrea Urbina. Urbina. Hola Susana. Hola Susana. Hola mm. Susana. O sea, me encanta es tenerlos aquí, ver, pero. Hola, hola William. Creo que te tendrías que comunicar con el moderador de tu grupo. No sé si es este, Fabiola o, o quién es la que está moderando tu grupo de WhatsApp para que te envíen el link correcto y te puedas conectar a tu clase. Ah, ok, ok, gracias. Porque aquí ya lo voy a graduar. <risa> ya lo voy a graduar de <risa> módulo 1. <uno. risa> ah, ok, ok. Thank you. Gracias. Susana, as well. <risa> But you know what I love is that you say, like, hmm, different people in my class. What is going on? <risa> that was beautiful. You see, I love to have new friends, but it's unfortunately, this is not the group. Y ya le van a poner fire. Por no llegar. Okay, so let's see. I am fixing the world here. Let's continue. I am going to share my screen with you for you to finish the sentences. In these ones, we are going to complete the sentences with prepositions of place, right? We are going to use it with prepositions of place. And it says, he has a presentation in on what? At, what are you going to use here? The meeting room. The exhibition is San Miguel, they say. Human resources is the third floor. The laptop is the main table. Where is your bus? My bus is work. One is the photocopy center. What are you going to use here? Are you going to use at, in, or on? He has presentation at the meeting room. Uh -huh. at, 
The exhibition is in. in San Miguel. It's in San Miguel. Here you have, he has presentations at the meeting room, right? He has presentations at the meeting room. The exhibition is in San Miguel. Human resources is on the third floor. The laptop is on the main table. Where is your bus? My bus is at, at work, right? One is on. You can say at the photocopy at, center. He is at the photocopy at, center because he is in the place. He is at the place. photocopy center. And in this one, Mama. Mama. I love that. about your workplace. I need you to write one sentence with there is and one sentence with there are. Talking about the place where you work. El lugar donde ustedes trabajan. ¿Cuánto diera yo porque me dijeran eso? Vaya a acostarse a la maca. Vaya. Vaya, <risa> pues. <risa> Imagínense, cuando estábamos chiquitos nos enojamos porque nos mandaran a tomar una siesta. ¿verdad? Y ahora de grande en el bus. <risa> Adulto. One sentence with there is and one sentence with there are about your workplace. There is a workshop. There is a workshop. Good. And there are? There are, there are many, many tall, tall, tall there are uh, herramientas. Ah, herramientas. tools. Tool. Uh -huh. There are many tools. Right, there are many tools. There is a workshop, a workshop, a common garage, a garage, a taller, trabajar, un taller. Okay, there is a workshop. And there are many tools. Any other example about the place where you work? ¿Qué más hay ahí donde usted trabaja? There is a mini fabrica. A mini factory, really? <laughs> yes. No, sería there are, porque son seis, son cinco. Ah, so there in that are, case, there okay. There are five mini fabrica. There oh, mini, oh, are mini location, five mini factories. Okay. No preferido, de there are. There are. Uh -huh. There are many threads. There are many thread, hilo. Thread. Yeah. Ah, so you say there is, porque hilo es incontable. There is, there is a lot of thread. There is a lot of thread. Hay un montón de hilo. There is a cafeteria. There is a cafeteria. Good. A cafeteria. There are bathroom. <coughs> there are, ¿qué le dije de bathroom y restroom? Any restroom. Restrooms. Porque restroom. restroom is plural and bathroom mm -hmm. is uh, mm -hmm. private. Mm -hmm. A clinic. Uh -huh. There is a clinic. There is a clinic, right? There is a clinic. There are many chairs. There is a clinic. There are many chairs. Good. ¿Qué más? ¿Y las chicas qué pasó ahora? ¿Me están ganando los chicos? 
There is a machine, right? There is there a machine. There are many people. I think there are many machines. There, there, yeah, there are porque son muchas máquinas. There are many, many machines. There are many machines. Por ahí alguien me dijo, there are many people. <laughs> indeed, right? There are many people, indeed. Uh -huh. There are many streets. There are many streets. There are many streets. And there is a store. There is a store. Good. There is a store. Good. There is a park. And there is a park. Really? Yo no tengo park en mi oficina. <laughs> <laughs> there is a park. But you see, es como, no, no, there no, is no. a park. There is. Okay, nice. Yeah. It's, there is a. There is a bank. I said tons of stuff. There is, there is a, a, in, a ATM. 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 There, yeah. there is an ATM. There is an ATM. Hay un cajero. There is an ATM. There are many what? There are, there are ATM. ATM. There are five. There are five ATMs. There are five ATMs. Okay. So you see, you have not one, you have almost 20 sentences about the place where you work. Right? There are many people, there are many machines, many streets. Many restrooms, there is a cafeteria, a clinic, a store, a park, a bank, an ATM. Ooh, there are many stores outside. Is there a pupusa's place in your workplace? There is a parking. Okay, there is a parking, good. There is a parking lot. Do you have pupusa's place in your workplace? There are. There, there are. are. How many? Okay, I will move it then. Okay, there are many pupusas places near my workplace. Okay. América so, está reventando cohetes. Yeah, I don't know who. <laughs> no, hay en el estero, hay esto. So there you have the examples, right? There you have the examples of the sentences using there is and there are. And exactly like this, you can create many more, right? Aquí podrían seguir describiendo todo lo que hay, todo lo que está cerca de su, de su, ¿qué hay en su mesa de trabajo? There are the There are? What is that? There is a box red. There is a box red or there is a red box. Yeah. And what is the box for? Para que es la para que es la caja. Uh, box red is a trabajo mal. Ooh. Tools. Okay. Para, tools. Para herramienta. Ah, there are tools. There are tools. There is an iPad. There is a computer. There uh -huh. is a computer, there are, right? There are a computer. Okay. There ah, is, there, are. there are. There okay. are many cinco computadoras <laughs> en todo el piso. Oh my goodness. No, but on your work table, right? En su mesa de trabajo. There is a computer. There. What else? There is a box. A, a box. What what is the other color box? Blue. Si la roja es para los malos, la azul es para los buenos. Uh, herramientas. Tools. Ah, for the tools. For the tools. 
the moment. There is a blue box for the tools. Okay. Where there is teacher. teacher. There what? is child. There a child? is the teacher. The scissors. Okay, yeah. there is there is a pair of scissors. Say so there is, here I have it. There is a pair of scissors. Las tijeras ya son plurales de por sí, porque tenemos que este, porque ya son doble. So there is a pair of scissors. Cuando decimos un par de tijeras, no es que tengamos dos, sino que es la tijera en sí. Right? There is a pair of scissors. There is. ¿Cuál es la otra cosa que dicen? There is a chair. A chair. There is a chair. Right, there is a chair. Hay una silla. There is a chair. There is a chair with a sewing machine. There is a sewing machine. I think there are many. No creo que tengan solo una. So in this one, say there are. Thousands. There are many thousands. thousands of sewing machines. There are many. There, there are thousands. No. There are thousands of sewing machines. Y todas cosiendo al mismo tiempo, imagino. There are thousands there are of sewing machines. Brooms. Brooms. Escobas. Sí. Oh, really? There are many. There are many brooms. There is a lamb. There is a lamb. Good. There is a lamp. There are many brooms and let me see. There are, I think, I don't know in, in your factory, but there are many yellow buses. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> there are many yellow buses. Near the factories, there are always yellow buses, right? Always yellow buses with sexy drivers with a towel here. <laughs> sí, sí o no, ahí están. Hay muchos buses amarillos con esos motoristas elegantes con una toalla en el lomo. <laughs> There are many yellow buses. That, eh, no hay lugar en el que se sienta más amado que pasando cerca del bus. <laughs> <laughs> and then they say, there, se va, se va, amor, se there va, are va. many cars. There are many cars. Dice Luis que le habla al hermano y, y ya te va a marcar. Bueno. <laughs> there are many gardens. There are many gardens. Okay, there are okay. many. There, there, there is, are many there cars. There is store repuestos. Oh, or the store. oh, there is a hardware store. There is there is a spare a spare parts a spare parts a store. There is a there spare is parts spare part store. A store, right? There is a spare parts store. Me van a decir, ¿por qué le puso? ¿Y por qué le puso a ah, teacher si es spare parts? Porque estamos hablando de la tienda, no de los repuestos. Mm -hmm. There is a spare parts store. Okay. There are many cats, you see. There are many cats. Yes, no hay fábrica sin gatos. There are many cats. Dog and dogs too. Okay, there you have your Kaisers there. So, <clears throat> el que me decía que no podía hacer oraciones, no le creo porque mire todas las que hemos armado. Almost 30 sentences with prepositions, with places, with adjectives, right? And there is, and there are. Excellent job, the one that you did on the final uh, exercise we had there. Well, let me just explain what we are going to do tomorrow. What we are going to do tomorrow on the presentation. ¿Qué vamos a hacer mañana en la presentación? We are going to 
uh, talk about yourself. Talk this is an me. example, right? This is an example. And it says all about who? All about teacher Nati. I have just a couple of examples here. Uh, what are you going to do? You are going to explain about you and about a person in your family, right? Tienen que escoger su información y la información de alguien más en su familia. I have here my information and the information of my mother. So I have two, right? I have my information and the information about my mother. <clears throat> it is, is not necessary. Is Sorry? Is my mother? <laughs> That's my mother. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, she's my, she's my mother. <laughs> yeah. La niña Carmen. La niña Carmen. Ah, señores, brava. Te quiero, mamá, si está viendo este video. <laughs> Dele like y comparta. Dele like y comparta. Mi mamá es fan de mis clases, ya las mira. So, <laughs> there you go. In very simple sentences, you are going to describe yourself. You are going to talk about a general information about you. I have here a very short example. I am Salvadorian, I am 38 years old, I live in San Salvador, I am an English teacher, I have a son, I am married, I work in an English learning center, I like to cook and to dance. My favorite places in town are the restaurants and the cinema. Tendría que salir temprano para hacer eso, teacher. No, porque... no, no, wait, 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 tranquilo, relájense, slow down. I did this as an example. You don't have to make a presentation, okay? Si usted puede, quiere y tiene el tiempo de hacer la presentación, hágala. But I don't need the presentation. I need your speaking, okay? Oh, okay. Porque lo que yo le puedo evaluar es el speaking, not the presentation. I did it because I am very visual and I need to see to understand, right? Yo soy bien visual y tengo que ver para entender. Y así les presento las cosas a ustedes. So I need you to get the information. I need this information. Necesito que ustedes preparen su información. Because when I... Voy a mandar eso al, al, al chat. Yes, for sure. Ahí lo voy a mandar mi foto. Please, teacher. I have the example here, right? And about a second person. Why? Because here we practice simple present first person. And in this one, we practice simple present third person. She is Salvadorian, right? In this one, it doesn't have to say I am 60 years old. It says she is 60 years old. She lives in Santa Ana. She is a nurse. She has three children. She is married. She works at home. She likes to play games and watch Netflix. She loves it. Her favorite places in town are the supermarket and the park. In the park. Okay. This is an example about her, okay? So here we have the example about me in simple present, first person. <clears throat> and here you have the example about a second person. Mm -hmm. Aquí pueden hablar de su amigo, de su novia, de su novio, de su esposo, de su esposa, de sus hijos. I don't know, escojan a una persona para que sea su segundo ejemplo. El primer ejemplo van a ser ustedes. The information about you. And the second, you are going to talk about a second person. Okay? Si no hacemos una presentación en el teléfono, buscan una foto, ahí nos la muestran. Ahí, por ejemplo, let me see. <clears throat> Imagine that you are going to talk about your father and you say like, okay, he is my father and you show the picture, right? And that's the only thing that you need to do. And then you start talking. Solo pueden mostrar la foto y me dicen, okay, I am going to talk about my father. He is my father. He is uh, 55 years old. He is Salvadorian. And then you start talking, okay? La idea es que ustedes produzcan la información. Si quieren oh, hacer su sure. presentación, perfect. Pero no es obligatorio ni necesario más allá que para guiarse. Dígame, escuché, escuché por ahí un teacher. Yo, yo, teacher. Y todos ¿Ah? oyen nuestra presentación. Yeah, for sure. <risa> <risa> for sure. No tenga miedo de enseñar el boyfriend. Ay, qué cosa. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we are we are like a like a little family. I mean, there is no there is no worriedness about like, uy, me van a escuchar, que no sé qué, me voy a equivocar. No. The idea is that you practice and produce the language. That's the only thing. Aquí estamos para aprender de todos. Okay? okay. So don't worry. It's going to be only us, right? Que voy a invitar a unos encargados de Insafor y a unos encargados de inglés corporativo. No. <laughs> 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 um, no, 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 no. It is, it is going to be around one or two minutes per person. Creo que se van a tardar alrededor de dos minutos cada uno. Man. And, and it is just like that. And what you can do right now is that you can start creating your information, right? Pueden basarse. Le voy a dejar la primera parte aquí de la mía. Okay? Pueden empezar a armar su información ahorita. Vean el ejemplo. Y traten de hacer algunas notas ahí. Para que no me digan, ay, no me he quedado tiempo. Teacher, es que yo, ¿verdad? Tengo que atender a él. Changarro. Sí, porque Jorge en eso trabaja, le <coughs> No, yo trabajo todo el día, teacher. Okay, so you can start creating your example, right? There you have it. You can start creating your information. El tema se llama All About, y ponen su nombre. All About, y ponen su bello nombre. All About Selena, All About Aide. And this is just an example, right? If you want to tell me something extra, you can do it, right? Si quieren agregar la información, you can do it, right? If you want to tell me more about yourself, if you have a special talents, if you want to tell me something specific, favorite food, favorite color, whatever, you can include it. But let's work right now on your information. You can include your profession. I was some. So, mm. Yes, Donde dice I am an English teacher, le vamos a poner uh, ama de casa o que uno trabaja. <clears throat> yes, your profession. I am a housewife, I am a student, I am a, an accountant, I am a mechanic, I am a factory worker. I am a factory worker. I am okay. a factory worker. And you can include all the information that you want. Si quieren decirme más cosas de usted, you can include. Teacher. Yep. Dime. 
Estamos se dice trabajo de medio tiempo. I work part time or I have a part time job. I will write it for you. Te lo escribo. I work part time or I have a part time job. <clears throat> In this case, when you say I work part time, yo trabajo medio tiempo, mm -hmm. o yo tengo un trabajo de medio tiempo. There you have the two forms. I have a part time job as a teacher. Yo trabajo medio tiempo dando clases. Valores tiene. Oh, in this one, sorry. Aquí tenía hambre cuando estaba escribiendo. I have a song, you say. I have a song. Yo tengo un hijo. Me too. Mm -hmm. So you say, I have a song. I, I am two, married. Four. Ahí pueden poner los que tengan. Si son two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you change a for the number. Ventas en línea que no se describe. ¿Cómo? Online sales. <laughs> or online business. I have an online business. Sí, me gusta una business. Everybody. A <laughs> todos nos gustan los business. I have an online business. Well, two. What is your business about? Brenda, what is your business about? Oh, vendo producto por revista. Oh, okay. Catalogs. Catalogs. Bambi. Bambi? Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> Bambi. <laughs> um... Teacher, and they say I have one that like you. Then I have two. Uh huh. Yeah. If you have two kids, you say I have two songs or I have two children. I don't have children. You don't have children, but you can say I have a dog. I have a cat. I have two dogs. I have two dogs. You see, that's good. That's good. Yo les planeé exactamente esta clase para que les quedara este chance de crear su presentación. Mm. I think about you, you see. Ah, Brendita, pregunta. Uy, no te oigo, Brendita. I am Murphy. Ah, I am married. Estoy casada. I am married. Ay, ah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> married. Es la convivencia. And you have two songs. Hay de ahí de todo. Los niños los adoptamos. <laughs> And it's funny that you're like married, but you are married. <laughs> <laughs> este. Okay, so we have to explain it. Teacher, yeah. And if we're not married, I am ponemos... single. I am single. Single, single. Oh, okay. But uh, single is that no hay ni novio ni nada. I am single. Um. Uh, Ah, ah, mm. <laughs> I am oh, you can say I am in a relationship, right? I am in a relationship. In a relationship significa que tiene pues, pareja o novio o algo. ¿no? What do you say I am single, right? Me quedo con cinco. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> yeah, 
y el novio, vea, voy a entrar a ver las clases de mi amor. Ah, she's single. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Dice que no tiene nada. Ajá. En las clases ah, decís que sos, sol, que sos soltero. ¿no? Ah. Américo, I'm single. Sí. Ay, que me acuerdo, le iba a preguntar algo. Ajá. Me conecté media, media hora después. Este, este, un mensaje cayó en el grupo de una encuesta. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, that is going to be for tomorrow. Esa la vamos a, a utilizar el día de mañana. Así que la tienen que tener ahí a la mano porque la vamos a ir trabajando en clase. Nos conectamos, se conecta un encargado de inglés corporativo. Yo doy la guía de la, de la encuesta. Ustedes la van llenando al mismo tiempo que yo. Y cuando la terminan, envían su captura de pantalla de que la acaban de terminar y ya. Pero eso lo haremos en clase. Yeah. A mí no me cayó correo, a mí me cayó un mensaje. Pero le, link. Sí, le cayó este el, el link. link. ¿Ah? El mismo. El, yeah. Pero igual revisen su correo, ahí tiene que estar. Ahí en, búsquelo en spam, en no deseados. En borradores. En, no, en borradores. No. <risa> ok. So now that you have the idea of what you are going to do with your information, we are going to use these final minutes to work on the information of the second person. ¿De quién van a hablar en la, en la segunda parte? In this one, you can say, for example, if you are not going to show anything, you can say, um, She is my mom, for example. She is my mom. Her name is Carmen. Okay. You can use this information as well, right? She is my mom. Her name is Carmen. In this one, you have to say, she is, she is, right? It's not them. She is 60 years old. And this one. Here, okay. So there you go. There you go. Here. And you say she is. <clears throat> okay. Who are you going to talk about in the second person? ¿De quién van a hablar en su segunda persona? My song. My song, good. Let's see, Aide, who are you going to talk about? My mother. My mother. Good. Evelyn. Uh, your husband. Evelyn sigue three tres hombres de los que puede hablar. Uh, okay. Las preferidas del señor. Three three songs for sure, right? Los tres hijos. I don't know. I don't know. You say, Randall, who are you going to talk about? Ronald. Ronald. Yes, Ronald. Yes, Ronald. Ronald, who are you going to talk about? Your girlfriend. I, uh, I don't work tomorrow. You don't work tomorrow. Oh, wow, how, how nice. Griselda, who are you going to talk about? <laughs> Sorry? My friend. Okay, your friend. Carolina? My mother. Your mother. Good. Norma? My sister. My sister. Good. Brenda? 
Brendita Martinez, who are you going to talk about? Uh, my song. Your song. Good. Very good. America? Lo estoy pensando ahorita. Your de wife. La la esposa de la novia. No sabe <clears throat> qué. Your wife. Only the wife. Aquí no hay. De la, de la Brenda voy a hablar. Ah. <laughs> Puedes hablar de tu esposa, de tu novia. No, no, de otra persona, dijo. Only, yeah, you can talk about a friend. Pueden hablar de algún amigo, amiga aquí en el, en el salón de clase. Vaya. ¿no? You talk about your Vaya, así, así que mañana la vamos a despejar a la Brenda aquí. No hay para mucho, no te preocupes. Isabel, what are you going to talk about? Muchachita. Son... Your song, Son... good. Luis Parrilla, what are you going to talk about? My mom. Your mother, good. Edwin? My daughter. Your daughter. Daughter. Your daughter, okay. Uh, Marta Alicia, who are you going to talk about? Yeah. Your sister, Selena, sister. who are you going to talk about? Selena, who are you going to talk about? My sister. Your sister. Let me see. Roxanita, who are you going to talk about? Hola, le de mi sister. De my my sister. son. Your son. Very good. You're mm. going to talk about your son. And I haven't asked who. No, ya le pregunté a todos. Astrid? De mi hija. Your daughter, say my daughter. My daughter. My daughter. My daughter. Okay. <clears throat> and yes, I have, I ask everybody. Uh, Selena, did I ask you? <laughs> Who are you going to talk about? My sister, teacher. Your sister, yeah, you told me. And yes, I'm done. Okay, let me just report here. Finish creating your sentences. <clears throat> eh, Susana Andrea, hoy era su primer día de clases. No, teacher. Ok. En el link que le mandaron, eh, le aparecía esta clase. Se supone que sí, pero yo estoy en el, en el principiante 4. Ah, no, hombre, aquí ya graduado de principiante 1. <ríe> es que estamos Dios. en principiante 1, entonces ahorita le acabo de reportar. con Tal sí. vez en su, grupo, en su grupo de WhatsApp podemos corroborar. Ajá. Bye. Sí, me eh... salgo y me vuelvo a iniciar. Ok, permítame un ratito. O, o no que... sé cómo hacer porque <ríe> lo mismo creo que le estaba pasando a un compañero. Sí, en el caso de Paola. Paola, ¿me puedes asistir? Ay, se me fue Paola. Bueno, ahorita le reporto. Sí, en, el, en su grupo de WhatsApp creo que sería bueno que se vuelva a conectar en el link que tienen en el grupo, en el que les envían. Es que en ese, en ese link me contenté. Ah, pues creo que se confundieron. Entonces busque quizás el de los días anteriores. Vaya, está bien. Ajá. Bueno, Susana, bueno. un placer tenerla por aquí. Bueno, gracias. Si gusta, se puede quedar para seguir aprendiendo. Okay. You can stay here to review. Ok, my dear students, get ready for tomorrow, ok? Get ready with that. And please, to all the ones that I mentioned, to all the ones that I mentioned on the chat, let me see. Eh, let me see, let me see. I have eh, Astrid pudo entrar a la plataforma para completar los ejercicios que faltaban. Sí. 
Vale, ahorita ya voy a entrar a revisar eh, que todo esté completo, please. Recuerden que después de la tarea 20 se tienen que salir y en la misma sección 4 están los exámenes finales para los que no los han tomado. Entonces, ahí es donde ustedes se meten y los completan. Eh, Aide, ¿cómo vamos? Yo digo que bien. ¿Ya no terminaste sé. los exámenes finales? Y yo no los encuentro, teacher. <ríe> es en la sección 4, cuando te salen las secciones de la plataforma, déjenme ir aquí a la, a la plataforma, veamos, antes de que nos vayamos. Por favor, por favor. Usted ya los revisó, teacher, solo lo, el listado de los que envió son los que faltan. Sí, de ahí todos los demás. Teacher, andan ahí. se supone que la mía habló una pregunta, la que me tenía mala, parece. Y la corrigió. Sí, este, Ronald me ayudó ahí. Ok, perfecto. Let me just check on this one. Ok, let me stop sharing. Voy a dejar de compartir un ratito para poder abrir mi, mi plataforma. Ok, pero cuando usted, se, cuando usted se mete a la plataforma, ID tiene todas las secciones. Tiene sección 1, 2, 3, 4. Sí, Vaya. unidad 4. Ajá, después de la unidad 4, cuando usted entra a la sección 4, tiene dos pestañas. Tiene la de ejercicios y, no, y al final no tiene, pagar, me duele tiene una final que exam. dice Ay, final exams. Esa tiene que entrar en la... Eh, les encanta. Todo. <risa> eh, en esa tiene que entrar en la que dice final exams. Ahorita se lo voy a mostrar aquí. Voy a entrar yo a mi plataforma. Y quiero ver... Ok, aquí les comparto mi pantalla para que vean. Entonces, en la sección 4 tiene dos apartados, una que dice Unit 4 and Final Exams. Entonces, esa también hay que entrar, a esa que dice Final Exams. Igual en la sección 3 tenemos Where Do You Work? Y en la sección 2 tenemos igual dos secciones que dice Daily Routines y Midterm. Porque eso también aparece que no está trabajado. Entonces, tienen que entrar a todas las partes de la sección. En el caso de Brendita Martínez, creo que ya terminó con todo. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, ya. Vale. Sí, eh, me... Selina. Teacher, yo ya terminé, ¿verdad? Ahora en los últimos dos. Sí, sí, Marta, ya está terminado. Selina, ¿pudiste entrar sí. a terminar lo que te hacía falta? Teacher, me puede corroborar si está terminado lo mío. Yo me aseguré que estaba todo 100%, pero no okay. sé si es realmente. Ahorita voy. Según Teacher dice, acá dice 11% las cuatro secciones. Ajá. Solo que en el total, donde dice total, dice un 60%. Entonces me considero que me hacen falta lo que este va te está diciendo. Así, así es. Entonces hay que entrar ahí para que vean cuáles son las partes que les faltan. Cuáles son las partes que les faltan. Y en este caso, quiero ver, Erwin, ya está todo al 100%. Sí. ¿Sí? Y yo, teacher, no sabe si ya. Yo creo que según yo ya terminé, pero no sé. <ríe> Isabel Rocío, todo está al 100%. Por ahí arribita me miré, pero lo pasó de rapidito. Ok, Brenda García. Brenda Elizabeth Cerón, 100%. Estamos completos. Ah, ok, ahí de Lizania, nos faltan de la sección 4, ah, hemos dejado un ejercicio ahí sin completar y de la sección 2 también, hemos dejado un ejercicio sin completar. Astrid Abigail, tenemos en la sección 3 un ejercicio sin completar, hay que trabajarlo. Y de ahí todos los demás ya estamos al 100%. Yo no me veo ahí. Veamos, Luis Américo. Oh, no. Ya me vi, ya me vi. Yes. Ese José Antonio es acá 2000. Ve. No, ok, no, no. entonces no. Todos, es, todos estamos sí. completos. Sí, chef, pero es que ya estoy revisando y todo lo tengo en verde. Ajá, vámonos uno por uno. Te tenés que ir uno por uno ahí de, en la sección 2. Tenés dos ejercicios que están a medias y en la sección 4. Tenés uno que te ha quedado con una mala. Ah. Y Astrid, en la sección 3, tenés uno que lo has dejado ahí, ahí a medias. Entonces, por eso, ya todos los exámenes finales igual ya los hicieron. 
¿Quién me falta? Eh, yo. <risa> no he hecho los... Celina, ¿no me has hecho los exámenes finales? Los final exams no me los has hecho, Celina. Sí, sí, ahorita estoy viendo cómo entro, pero no puedo. <risa> es que soy bien confuso. Sí, en la última sección, ahí están los exámenes finales. Y ahí están todos los demás, ya con su 100% de progreso. Así que, chicos, porfa, revisen que todo está listo. Ya ustedes ya lo vieron. Que está todo completado. Well, my dear class, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Prepare your presentation, please. And uh, get ready. Okay. We are going to do the presentations tomorrow. I have a very short intervention. And... Teacher, mandalo. La foto de los ejemplos para la presentación. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 right now. I am going to do it right now. Ahorita se los envío, ¿ok? So, okay. have a wonderful night and I will see you tomorrow, my dear students, for the next class. Thank you. Tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow, my dear class. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Have a beautiful Bye. night. Bye-bye.